Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to all my returning clients. Much love and appreciation as always. If you're new here though, my name is Hayes. I'm a veterinarian as well as a sneakerhead, hence the name, the shoe vet. Now getting into the subject of today's video, as I always say, what good is having a collection of shoes if you have nothing good to wear it with? One of my favorite colors that I've been wearing for the past late fall to the winter season is actually green. Uh, uh, I'm a fan of earth tones in general. I feel like green is a little more fun to wear, kind of adds that extra pop to an outfit too. Um, and yeah, it's just been kind of, it's been kind of fun to wear. So I'm going to go over a couple pieces that I just recently picked up. Uh, one from a collaboration between Jean and Eddie Bauer and the other one between Adidas and Ivy Park. Let's go ahead and get into the Jean one first. So bringing out this, this is the Jean Eddie Bauer Goose Downfield Vest. I got this a few weeks ago for a whopping Hulk smash $245. Yikes. Okay, so that is already pretty, um, pretty scary. So this vest dropped alongside two other vests. Uh, one was complete tan and the other one was navy blue and tan. There's also some like full blown jam jackets, but uh, I, I don't really have too many vests. So yeah, I want to go get another vest. So moving back to this one. So this one is in the sage green color. You have a nice sage green color on the outside and you have tan on the inside. As far as the materials of the vest, um, the outer coating is a ripstop polyester material that is water repellent in a square quilting pattern. Inside the vest to help insulate you, you do have 800 goose build down. Keeps you real nice and toasty, real, real nice and toasty, your torso at least. It's a vest, come on guys. Other details on the vest include a rib neck collar. You have a vintage brass zipper, as well as a brass plaque that's on the right pocket that has Jean on it for a little bit of branding. I do love the vintage effect of the brass. It looks really aged and I think that's perfect uh, for this vest, especially with the color. The zipper, might I add, does feel pretty durable. As I briefly mentioned, you do have pockets. So you have two, one on the front, one on the side. You have a fish tailed hem on the front. You have a curved hem on the back. I think the coup de grace of this vest is that it's actually machine washable. <laughs> yeah, as expensive as this vest is, I would have thought that it would have been dry clean only, but now you can actually machine wash it. As far as what I paired this vest with here, as you can see, I'm pretty much Jean and Amelie on Dored out. So starting with the shoes, I got the Jean New Balance 992s in that green. I love that green color, man. Uh, really nice suede material. I got the cream laces that help communicate with the rest of my outfit. So it is fully Amelie on Dored. You got the oatmealer cream color sweatpants and hoodie combo. And then of course you got the green vest to sort of kind of communicate with the shoes. I know that I know it's a different shade of green. I know. But I still think it worked out fairly well. You guys let me know in the comments below. Did it work out? You guys like it? I think it's a really nice cozy fit and that's what I really like and that's what I really like about this vest. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go into the pros. So yeah, pros, as far as like the cozy boy, cozy girl thing, I think this vest adds an extra dimension to it. I think it gives you a couple extra style points on that. Um, it's not a basic outfit anymore when you have a vest on, in my opinion. So especially when you wear it right, I think it really sets off your fit. Now, do I think this vest is worth it? Hell no. Um, not for the price, not for the price of 245. I would have rather this vest been somewhere between the one and 150 price mark and then you guys can add on the shipping, handling, tax and all that stuff. But 245, like I get why it's that expensive, but whew, that's, that's, that's a lot right there. That is a lot. So yes, this vest is nice. No, I do not. Yeah. So yes, this vest is nice. Yes, I'm gonna be rocking it, but no, this vest is not worth the retail price in my opinion. All right, so now we're gonna switch gears a little bit. We're gonna go over the next couple pieces coming from the collaboration between sneaker giant Adidas and recording artist Beyonce to bring us Ivy Park. Now there was an Ivy Park. I wanna say it's probably been like a year. It was a while back. I know I did a review on it. Make sure you guys watch that after this video. Link in the description box down below. But yes, this is her brand with Adidas, Ivy Park. So I was a little bit Bit upset just a little bit of a backstory I was a little bit upset with the shipping from Adidas so long story short when I ordered it it took forever to get these items and and also maybe a week after I ordered these that's when they dropped the announcement of the black collection I'm just kind of like 
all right, well, you know, I get it. Advertisement, marketing, things like that. But I did not receive my green items until the date of the black items dropping. So I wasn't really able to go over sizing or anything like that. Um, it was, a little, it was a, little, a little bit upset. And what goes in their favor was that, honestly, I mean, this stuff was pretty expensive. The beanie, the track jacket, and the track pants all together was about 250. So would I have bought too many things from the black drop? Probably not, but it would have been nice to at least have these items well ahead of time so I can do a good solid review and get it out before this. But hey, it is what it is. Now jumping to the collection, we're gonna start out with the beanie. The beanie is a little bit on the big side, uh, but I do like how it was manufactured. So it's made entirely out of cotton, but the part that I like, it has some beautiful, and I mean beautiful embroidery on the front side, or at least a, basically say on one side of the hat. You have the three stripes for Adidas on the other side in a green colorway. You do have some stitching Ivy Park, so you can kind of go, you know, a little more bold statement. You know, let them know what you're rocking, Ivy Park, or you can go a little more subtle in a way with the three stripes, as you should know, Adidas. Moving on now to the track jacket. Now the track jacket is where we get a little interesting. So the track jacket is made out of cotton as well as recycled polyester. The ratio I believe is about 55% cotton and 45% polyester. It feels actually pretty, I wanna say luxurious, but it does have a nice little weight to it. And you know, it feels pretty good to the touch. So basically saying, I like it. Now where the jacket gets a little bit crazy is if you notice down the sides, you do have those stamp buttons. So you actually can completely detach both arms from the jacket and kind of have a, like a, almost like a little vest type look. Um, the buttons don't really close together, but it's, it's just for an extra look. And I think that does kind of add to some functionality of the jacket. Uh, I think that's pretty unique. I don't really know too many jackets that do that. On me, it's not really the look for me, so I'm not really gonna rock it like that. You can create a lot of different looks with that functionality, so I think that was a pretty good idea. You do have two pockets on the side. The zippers are a little flimsy in quality to me. I do have some worries about potentially breaking them. The main zipper though is YKK, pretty durable, so quite nice on that. You have two deeper pockets that are on the inside. You have some Adidas branding on the back in kind of like a lime green color. You have some rib cuffs around the wrist. The sizing of the jacket is just a little bit oversized. I'm about 135, 136 right now. And I got in a size small. You can tell it's just a little bit on the oversized, but that is the aesthetic of Ivy Park. Last but not least, on the right side of the jacket, you do have three white stripes. Uh, of course, Adidas that do run down into the white stripes of the pants. Now, I think that's a good segue to get into the pants. Continuing those three white lines, you do have three white lines on the track pants, so it all goes all the way down. It all matches up, it's a set. The pants are made of the same materials in the same ratio as a track jacket. So remember, that's 55% cotton, 45% recycled polyester. The Ivy Park trap pants are, well, trap pants, true and true they do have the snap buttons on the side you can completely you know open those up and detach them but i mean it's a track pant so you should be pretty used to that i'm used to it though you do have a elastic waistband with a drawstring that does have metallic tips on the end of it these pants also comes with pockets so you have two pockets on the side the zippers are a little flimsy same zippers as the pockets on the track jacket flimsy and you have one pocket on the back side too as well lengthwise these do feel a little on the long side just a little bit though again it's made to be a bit oversized i got in the size small I am a waist size, about 29 to 30, so I'm running there, I'm about 5'6", yeah, about 5'6 in height, just to put everything in perspective. For a more slim fit, I probably would have went down a size to the extra small, but hey, it is what it is. I just went true to sizes recommended, and like I said, it's supposed to be a little bit on the baggy side. That's the look. Now, as far as my overall thoughts and opinions on the ID Park collection in the green colorway at least, uh, you know, the, it, it's, it's, a good, it's a good collection overall. Let me put that, let me put that uh, first and foremost out there. Um, is it for me though? I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of hard for me to fully say. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I did get caught up in the hype a little bit with it being a Beyonce clap. Not even gonna lie. I don't rock oversized too much, as I say that with this oversized sweater. But yeah, it's not completely my. I'm, I'm dabbling in it. But I think this is a little bit too much. Uh, it is pretty loud. I do not, I'm not really feeling the whole detachable arm thing. Like I said, it's some people can really pull it off. 
I, I just don't really think it's my aesthetic. But as far as it being a good collection, yeah, if you can hit for retail, should you cop? Yeah, I think you probably should. Resale probably isn't gonna be that bad either. Maybe a little more so for the shoes, because now people sell about, because you know how people feel about shoes. But I feel like the, the actual clothing part shouldn't be that bad. With that out the way though, that's gonna end today's clothing consultation. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys hit the description button down below, as well as hit the notification bell so you'll be notified next appointment. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, the handle's at the shoe vet. That'll be in the description box down below. I hope you guys have a great day.